welcome to Evernote in the Wild Provence edition. This is episode three and I am Evernote certified expert Stacy Harmon. In this series I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support me in staying organized, productive, and on task for a trip I'm taking to Provence, France. I'm going to show you today a concept called project management notes. This is a key strategy that I use to keep my France notebook and others organized in Evernote. Projects are more easily managed when you have a high level summary of the project details. And I don't know anyone who doesn't desire a dashboard overview of their projects. There are several ways to accomplish this dashboard-esque overview in Evernote and Evernote Home is the most logical sounding approach and certainly has a lot of value. I'll cover some of those ways here inside this series as we move along. Um, but what I like to do is start at the notebook level and create a high level overview per project at the notebook level. And then I elevate key projects to the home dashboard. So I'm gonna start with the project level notebook strategy uh, that gives you kind of this dashboard note for that particular notebook. And that's the focus of this video here today. It's a strategy that I've used for years and it's one that I use with nearly all of my project notebooks. Let's go into Evernote and I'll show you what I do. All right, here we are in Evernote. The first thing I do is create a new note in my project notebook and assign it a meaningful note title. In my case, all my project summary notes, no matter if it's this project or any project in my account, get the title project management and then colon and then the project name. In this case, it's Provence, France. Then I do a couple of things to facilitate ease of access to this note because it's a key note. I want to be able to navigate to it quickly. There's a lot of options in Evernote for doing this. There's really three key strategies I like to teach. You can use one, two, or all three of them. Uh, it's really up to you and how important this particular project management note is. The idea is that we're going to promote them in your account to bring more vis visibility to it uh, and ease of access. So the three strategies are you can use a non-dated reminder, you can use a shortcut, or you can pin it to your homepage. So my preferred strategy is to use a non-dated reminder down here, which is what I've done. And you can see here when I edit the reminder, you'll see that it has no date to it. When I do that, it creates this reminders tab here on my notebook and it pins in essence or sticks the note up here to the reminders tab. So it's creating a filter that lets me easily access this despite the fact that in this case I have 29 notes in this notebook. No matter which way these notes are sorted, whether it's by title or by date updated, uh, those this project management note's always gonna appear here on the reminder. It's a nice filter that gives me ease of access to it. I use this strategy a lot. The other is you can shortcut it here to your sidebar. I showed you how I shortcutted the notebook earlier. Uh, simply add it to shortcuts here and it'll be added. You can organize them however you want. A third strategy is you can put it on home here and actually make it say your pinned note. You can see I have elevated its level of importance here to give me access on Evernote Home. You can customize this and organize them however you want. If I feel like I want to promote it higher or make it larger, I can do that. And then you'll see that is reflected on my home. So those are your three options. Again, you can use whatever really works for you. Uh, I like to use the reminder option, the non-dated reminder option. I use that in all of my project notebooks for my project management notes. Let's transition into talking about what I keep on this note. So you can see, I want this to be a dashboard note. So I'm providing some high level information here that's meaningful to me. So I have some general resources. I have some confirmations. I have a link to a Google doc here to uh, track our budgets and I've got some brainstorm about some things that we need to accomplish before we go uh, or while we're there. So this is how I like to see this project management note and you can see number one I'm using note links. So this is a really key feature of Evernote that you should master. It's one of my favorite Evernote features. When I first learned about note links it completely transformed what I saw as possible to do with Evernote and note links are a key part of my system many many years after I initially discovered them. So what note links let you do is create a sense of organization that matters to you. Like arbitrarily, you can organize anything in your account in a way that's meaningful to you. I have note links that are related to these resources, which is just the title that makes sense to me. Confirmations I'm grouping right here and I'm pasting the note links to those notes, which let me just navigate with a click of 
a button or a click on my mouse or a tap of my finger on my mobile phone and get right to the information that I seek. And then I can just navigate back to it. All right. So I can organize them any way I want. And for project management management notes, I typically use several, as you can see here, I've included several links on them. And you can have the note title be the uh, the name of the note link, but also here you can mask it behind whatever text you type. So here's some information that is has a different title, but I've used it as part of the task list that I'm filling out here. So I've written a blog post that trains you about note links and gives you further information on this particular skill. What I want to show you today is actually a new way that we have to create note links that can be really powerful. Uh, here I've got my project management note and let's, let's just title these by title. Let's say I wanted to have a section called activities and I wanted to add the note links, I'll spell it right, activities, and I wanted to have the note links for these activities appear here. So I'm going to actually select those and I'm going to drag and drop them over here to the project management note. Did you see how swiftly that added those note links? I'm going to just use my key command to add uh, bullet points to it. And suddenly I have a new uh, list of note links right there by dragging and dropping those notes onto the note. Really kind of cool stuff. You can also see that I've included other key data points on this note. I talked about how I have a link to a Google Sheet. I simply double click on it to launch the Google Sheet in the browser window and have access to it. This is a great way to show that information doesn't have to live in Evernote to be referenced in Evernote. So again, I'm using it as a dashboard and I simply pasted the share link here in order to create that, that relationship and direct click over to the Google Sheet. The last thing I want to point out is that I like to use the note formatting features to bring some visual clarity to my project management notes. You can see here I've bolded the title, uh, but you could certainly take it a step further and make these different header levels. Uh, sometimes I use the divider element to bring additional visual information to it. This isn't necessary, but I often find it helpful and brings some visual aesthetic to my uh, project management notes that I enjoy uh, and make me happier to look at it. You can choose what you like or the level of customization and formatting you bring to your notes. Just know that there's some great options up here and I would explore them. You know, sometimes people want to change the font color or they go through and they highlight the color. Uh, highlight it. Um, you have a, different options here, but this kind of stuff can be really helpful. Or if you know you want to say um, bring attention to a particular line item, you could do it that way as well. So all great options and things to play around with uh, in terms of how you use these project management notes. The key is that this becomes a dashboard to my project and the keynote in this particular project notebook, as well as an important note overall in my system. So hopefully that demo gave you enough confidence to give it a try, create a dashboard note in your project today. I'll be back next time with more details on how I'm using Evernote to support my trip to France. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to the Harmon Enterprises YouTube channel in order to be automatically notified of the next episode. I will see you then.